the decision's in. I'm, I'm back for good for a while, at least for the season. I, uh, I have a job interview tomorrow for a seasonal, a seasonal bit to, to regain my money stacks. You know, being a famous YouTuber, it, it, it doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> but uh, it's fun enough that I don't need money. I, I do need money. That's why I'm getting a job. <laughs> Ow! You slapped me so hard my hair fell off. So I just wanted to chronicle all the steps I'm going to take to try and make money again. So maybe if you're a fellow fan life person, maybe you can follow the same steps and we can do it together. Huh? Huh? <clears throat> The answer's in here. All right, the secrets lay in the old list of Craig. I love personally coming back for the holidays. Seems to be a perfect time to get any job because everyone needs to buy stuff. And then you need people to sell stuff to you. So what perfect place then right here? I like to get a seasonal job so there's no hard feelings when I leave right out of the blue. And look at this. Amazon is now calling for people. If you really put in the work to get a job, you will get a job. I mean, obviously you can't get anything great, but then again, we're working on greatness in a way. So $26 per tractor trailer driver. If you get your CDL, that could be a good gig. It's all about what you're willing to do. I love doing warehouse stuff because it really does keep the, keep the stuff going keeps the time rolling. If you're feeling extra ambitious, you can go into the personals. Oh my god. <laughs> I've seen prostitutes on here. Oh shit, see? <laughs> Me tonight, $100. No BS. If you're ambitious, this is some good money right here. I mean, that's $100 for what? I mean, how long can a guy actually last? They don't even need to work corners anymore. They just work the Facebook. Or if you want to be a virtual prostitute, here you go. Chatterbait is where it's at. Just people fucking in front of a live cam. I've never seen an actual 69 happen before. This is fascinating. I'm a scientist. <laughs> where have we gone as a society? In my day, you were a slut if you wore capri pants. Now, on your time traveling, you probably did buy something beforehand that you thought you were going to use all the time. And wouldn't you know it, I bought a lot of things that I just did not ever use. I'd be like, wow, it's what you think you're going to need and what you actually need and actually use. It's a lot different. Sitting there ripe to be turned into liquid assets. You had an extra camera that is now broken. You tried to fix it, but <clears throat> you're not that smart. So. You can sell it to someone who's uh, smarter than you. Or you can have one of those Casey Neistat shelves. Hey, look. Uh, no, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not that rich to have a Casey Neistat shelf. All I need is a picture. And even then, I don't even need a picture because I'm never going to see it again. So that's what happens with the digital nowadays. I thought this phone was waterproof. Turns out, not waterproof. It's now water broken. Don't need that. I've got a second iPad. Depending on how much stuff you've been hoarding... It could turn out to be a really good uh, good day, especially if you're first starting out and you're really trying to minimize the amount of money you can make by things that are just sitting on a shelf and collecting dust. Like say you had a full bookshelf full of books. Even if you get 50 cents per book. How many books is that? Are you really going to need those books? You could also try and make things. I mean, I've been working on this blanket for a while. I mean, no one's going to buy this blanket, but if you had a, a skill where you could make things, whether it was make jewelry, make something, I was watching The Wire. He makes little dollhouse miniatures, and he gets like $500 for a little chair. So that's what life is, really. Finding out what people want from you that you also want to do, and then doing it. But you're not supposed to make videos to make money. You're supposed to make money to make videos. Maybe you could be so good at something that you could then talk about it. And then, bam! A lot of people do Patreon, you know? Since the whole adpocalypse is killing people, people are doing Patreon. I mean, it sounds like begging to me, really. But is it begging? I mean, I don't really go to a store and say, Oh, I bought this book. They're begging me to pay for it. I'm not really asking for people to pay me. I'm just saying, if you want to. 
with this YouTube stuff, it's really not one job. It's kind of a bunch of jobs and, you know, having a bunch of baskets that you then take out of. So if one basket turns up empty, you can have a bunch of baskets. I'm trying to figure out the whole basket game. I'm not really good with baskets. You've seen the show baskets. That's crazy. Leaves are changing and they're starting to fall on the floor. You can get your rake up or your mulcher. For all these people that don't want to do it, you can do it for them, you know? It's the old time for money thing, you know? People that don't have time pay money to get more time. And then people that don't have money give time to get more money. But if you, you're, you know, you're a veteran of the force, put them down in the comments, even make a video response if you got any, any tips for me or Anybody who watches this video can go scroll down into the comments and read your comments. That'd be, that'd be appreciated. Because uh, I don't know everything, but I, you know, I'd like to know as much as I can. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, happy travels. See you. See you on the next one.